This week, I decided to eat like the world's highest paid supermodel, sister to the Kardashian family, and owner of 818 Tequila, the absolutely stunning Kendall Jenner. With an incredible body like Kendall's, someone like me only wonders what she has in a day, let alone a week. Is it nothing but salad, green juices, and lots of cardio? Or is it a well-balanced plate with room for pasta? Maybe it's the fact that she has good genetics and stands in at nearly six feet tall. Either way, I'm taking my chances and trying out Kendall's diet for an entire week. I've been awake for a little bit this morning. I wasn't super hungry when I woke up, but now I'm getting a little bit hungry. So it's time to make some Kendall Jenner breakfast. Apparently for breakfast, Kendall has avocado and eggs with oatmeal and some detox tea. This is the tea, apparently. I don't know if this is the right brand, but this is a detox tea. I'm scared to drink it. I don't know if anything's gonna happen. Per whatever source online, she has 12 cups a day. It's a little concerning but we'll see. And also I have my water. She apparently drinks a ton of water throughout the day. So I'm gonna be sipping on this while I make my breakfast. So I just did two plain scrambled eggs with avocado. I did oatmeal with a little bit of protein powder and cinnamon. I added a little bit of peanut butter in there for some flavor as well as half of a banana. I don't know if she does that, but we're adding a little bit of fruit. And then I have my detox tea with a little bit of lemon juice. I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty solid breakfast. I'm pretty impressed. I'm curious about this tea, so I wanna try it first. I've never had a detox tea. It's very light, very refreshing. I did add a decent amount of lemon juice as well, so that has something to do with it. But it's actually pretty good. Eggs and avocado. I feel like this is a classic breakfast. It's delicious. I just finished editing a YouTube video, so I've been sitting down for a long time. And in the midst of that, I ended up getting a second cup of the detox tea. Um, it was actually super good. I'm kind of loving it. So went ahead and got a second cup. I am now going to go take myself on an outdoor walk. It's rumored that Kendall does a little bit of cardio in between some of her strength training and personal training sessions. So I'm just gonna go on a quick walk just to get some cardio in. And then I'm gonna do a little meal prepping only because I work a couple days this week. So I wanna have some lunches and dinners ready to go and I'll take you along with me. I'm back from my walk and I figured now was a perfect time to have a snack. And apparently Miss Kendall Jenner enjoys veggies and hummus and those sorts of healthy things. And I wanted to step up my cooking game and try to make my own hummus. Now I know Miss Kendall Jenner is not making her own hummus. You know, someone's making it for her, she's buying the most organic, most amazing hummus that ever exists, but we don't have that kind of budget around here, so we're just gonna make our own. I've never done this before. We're just gonna see what happens. Me just being super amazed that putting things in a food processor and blending them actually makes something else. Mm, mm, mm. I'm a chef, I'm a genius. I say that as if I didn't get this recipe off Pinterest and took it from somebody else, so. Can we just appreciate how good this looks? Also, when I was doing a little dive on Instagram, I did see a post where Kendall had a little bit of cheese on her burger, even though the internet says different things about whether or not she has dairy, but I decided to add a little bit of cheese. And also the store didn't have any hamburger buns, so I went for sourdough. So that's what I'm working with here for dinner. I don't know if this is really, really good or I just haven't had a burger in so long. At work in the morning, I decided to have a cup of the detox tea 
And then by the time I got to lunch, I was enjoying my recreation of Kendall's Sweet Greens salad order, apparently. So Sweet Greens is the place where they always go to on Keeping Up with the Kardashians, where they're eating the salads and shaking them a lot and arguing in the kitchen. So apparently her order is a base of shredded kale with brown rice, chicken, avocado, goat cheese, and a balsamic vinegar, which is what I have here. And then little snacks, I'm having almonds, my fancy homemade hummus, and some veggies. I woke up a little while ago and just now finished my makeup. I'm trying to channel my inner Kendall Jenner today, so I went with like a little light, natural-ish makeup look. I remembered just now that I have this green juice from Trader Joe's. I bought this a while ago. It had the texture of applesauce because the pulp from the green juice is like still in there. So I'm gonna have a little bit of this with my breakfast because green juice, you know, it's like, it's a Hollywood thing. All right, here's breakfast, my avocado toast. I used that sourdough that I bought at the start of the week. Avocado smashed up, an over easy egg with some red pepper flakes and pepper and a green juice. I'm feeling LA worthy already has that same applesauce consistency that I remembered, but it's good though. I decided to throw just a couple of curls into my hair this morning. I wanted to show you sort of my outfit inspo for today, kind of what I want to wear. I just spent like the last 20 minutes on Pinterest looking up Kendall Jenner's street style. And honestly, I am obsessed. I love her looks. I love her outfits. I love her entire vibe. This video really was just me eating like her for a week, but I'm slowly becoming obsessed with her because she just, the vibes are amazing. Now it's time to piece together the entire outfit. So welcome to my closet. The underneath layer, so the sort of turtleneck vibe that she's got going on. I think I have one almost exactly like that. Let me see. I know I have, yes, perfect. Also have over here, got a new camel coat a couple weeks ago and the timing is perfect. Okay, this is seriously such a look. I'm actually obsessed with this and I will be rewearing this outfit. You guys, I put the outfit on, pulled up the photo, looked at it, looked at myself in the mirror. I nailed this. Let me show you what we're working with. What do we think? Do we like it? I love it. And I'm gonna go run errands and go to Target and things like that. Dressed better than everybody there. Watch out, world. As I was looking for pictures of Kendall online to figure out what outfit I wanted to recreate of hers, I realized that all of her photos basically are paparazzi photos, which gave me the idea that not only would I dress like her for the day, but I would sort of recreate a paparazzi photo shoot like scenario. Um, because so many of her photos are paparazzi photos and I took this opportunity to let my friend Sophia be a fake paparazzi and take photos of me. Am I crazy? Probably. But at least I have a friend who's agreeable to take the photos of me and pretend to be like the paparazzi, so. Over here, Kayla, look over here. Kayla, how's your YouTube career? I heard it's swapping. Kayla, we heard you've been texting Harry Styles. Can you comment on that? Kayla, Kayla, have a nice day. My iconic friend, Sophia, <laughs> who just agreed to take fake paparazzi photos of me in my parking garage for this video to <laughs> bring out my inner Kendall Jenner. Kendall, over here. Um, I think you could do it. I think you could be I'm a like, paparazzi. She was I'm a little not sleazy enough. She but. had a little <laughs> bit of a sleaze tendency though. She was like asking me who I was dating. It was a whole lot. Um, but that was so funny. I hope you guys enjoy the pictures because we were cracking up. <laughs> so good. She definitely understood the assignment. If you ever need a sleaze paparazzi photographer, Sophia's your girl. <laughs> I came back to my apartment for a little while because I had some work to do. So now that I have that done, um, it's time for lunch. Ordered something from this place called Chopped and I need to go pick it up. All right, bag is secured, ladies and gents. I ended up getting the Mediterranean bowl. Of course we have to do the car taste test. Looks like it has chickpeas, feta, cucumber, tomato, some kind of pepper. It looks super good. This is delicious. This was a really solid choice. Good morning. It's Saturday morning. I didn't have to work today, so I slept in a little bit. Total guilty pleasure, laid in bed for a while. 
scrolled social media randomly i found a vogue video on youtube it was like something about her and existential questions and i saw her eating a bowl of cheerios i don't know if that's on her everyday sort of routine but i bought some cheerios just for the occasion so i'm gonna have a bowl of cheerios and some detox tea for breakfast mmm sounds delicious what a combo seriously could not tell you the last time i had cheerios so this is like taste test for the first time in like forever these are also the plain cheerios i kind of like honey nut butter but this is what she was eating in the vogue video they're just plain i guess I have to leave in a little while to go to my hair appointment. But before I do that, I wanted to eat a little lunch. And I have a meal prepped um, chicken rice veggie dish. So I'm going to eat this really quick before I go to my hair appointment. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Roasted broccoli, cauliflower, zucchini, brown rice, and chicken. I think it looks really good. It's a very basic lunch. Like this is definitely a gym bro kind of lunch. I had several inches of dead ends but we got those taken care of we got some highlights some low lights oh my gosh it looks so good anyways it is in fact saturday night i have no plans i am living for it in my little search of what kendall has she on occasion enjoys a little bit of a margarita pizza so i am going to go to a local pizza place grab a margarita pizza and enjoy my saturday night are you guys ready for the deliciousness of this margarita pizza looks and smells so amazing. I just finished my workout. I did Kendall's ab routine and I also did a little bit of cardio afterwards. And my face is still red despite the fact that I just took a cold shower. So that's what we're working with. But now it's time. This is why I filmed this way because the lighting in my kitchen is just not it. It's right by the window. Um, it is in fact time for a little breakfast. I think I want to try a drink that I saw on Kendall's Instagram story or something. Um, she had, it was like lemon and mint water. So I'm going to have some of that. I have some fresh mint here and I have some lemons on the counter. And I think we're going to go back to basics since it's my very last day eating like Kendall. I'm going to have my eggs with avocado and some oatmeal. It's actually very refreshing. Does every celebrity drink lemon water or do they just say that? I'd like to know because it seems it seems like every celebrity drinks lemon water and nothing else hmm. like i said back to basics for my final breakfast is kendall jenner i have two scrambled eggs with avocado and then i have some oatmeal and i decided to spice it up a little bit i added some frozen mixed berries into it which is why it looks bright pink okay this day is moving so quickly i realize it's three o'clock and i need to eat some lunch um i think i'm gonna try to recreate this meal right here i don't really know what all is in it it's like a little salad of sorts okay here is kendall's salad looks really good nice and well balanced and here is my salad i don't know what do you guys think i think i did a good job i think she used maybe lentils or something on this part of the salad i don't have lentils apparently so i just had some leftover brown rice from the beginning of the week but now i'm gonna dress this with a little bit of olive oil and some lemon juice i have no idea if there's dressing in this salad in this picture but i feel, I like, feel something like something skinny, skinny and supermodel s, s would be to do olive oil and lemon juice all right so that salad that i had earlier was okay it was probably my least favorite meal that i've made so far i just feel like it was kind of boring um i tried to spice it up and add seasonings and stuff and it still was just kind of boring it also didn't really fill me up very much so i'm on to a little late afternoon snack i am having some detox tea because we just, we can't get enough of this stuff, you know? Um, but it's really hot right now, so I'm letting it cool a little bit. But also having some chips and guacamole. You're so funny. Okay, this is my final meal, eating like Kendall Jenner. And this is the recipe that I'm most intrigued by, but also a little nervous because it honestly 
does not sound good like at all um basically it's fettuccine noodles with parmesan lemon juice salt pepper and peas like fro like a bag of frozen peas i was instructed to buy a frozen bag of peas all right water is almost done boiling and then this is what i'm working with i just chopped up some onion and i'm going to saute that with some garlic and the peas and some olive oil also i know this is an atrocity to use sort of parmesan cheese wise i'm sure the recipe calls for something a little fancier but this is all i got right now in no way does this look appetizing i'm gonna try to get a bite of everything i garnished it with extra parmesan extra black pepper because i'm just trying to get any flavor possible Here's a pretty solid bite. Cheers. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Lemon and peas under no circumstances should ever be put together. Should I give it a redemption bite? I already know what it's gonna taste like. Okay, I'm not gonna twirl it because then the peas fall off the fork, so just ignore my giant bite here. It's so bad. It's so bad. Like, it would have been fine, minus the peas. I'm gonna have to find something else to eat for dinner now because I genuinely can't eat this. It's not good. <laughs> Surprisingly, eating like a supermodel for a week was actually not that bad. Now, just to let you know, a lot of what the internet says is a little bit outdated. A lot of it is actually from when she had her own app which I didn't even know that was a thing, but apparently she used to post like what she ate, things that she likes to eat, her favorite foods, etc. If what I found on Google and what her Instagram says is true, honestly, eating like her for a week was awesome. I feel like her meals are really well balanced. She doesn't necessarily cut anything out of her diet. My one complaint was drinking all of the detox tea. I didn't love that, probably because I'm not a huge tea person. Overall, the week went really well. I ate a lot of foods that I liked. I tried out new recipes and made my own hummus. I was very proud of myself. Still have some in the fridge. It's delicious. I would love to hear it from Kendall herself in an interview or something to see what she really eats, especially a more updated version. At the end of the day, we have to remember she is a celebrity. She's also like six feet tall and she's got really good genetics. I am not going to look like this in one week or probably ever. She also has access to personal trainers and private chefs. So therefore, her diet will always be the best. She can eat whatever she wants, whenever she wants, because of those wealthy sort of luxuries. I really enjoyed eating like Kendall Jenner for the week, so comment down below which celebrity diet I should try next or which celebrity I should eat like for a week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.